welcome to Muine. Now it took us two hours to get here because we're on a bike so we couldn't take the fast road. But we arrived yesterday tired but had enough time to catch the sunset at this beach bar that kind of looked like it was inspired by Bali. And then we headed to a food court where we tried Indian food and broke my rule of why do I order food from one country in another country? It's never going to be as good. But I did really like the naan so I guess that's a win. This morning, we're up early. Well, not as early as we'd like to be, it's 8 a.m., but we have a full day of kind of tourist activities planned. So there are a number of things that are very well known in Muine. You've got the white sand dunes, the red sand dunes, the ferry stream, the beach, the fish market. Fish market might wait for tomorrow because you have to get there very, very early. It's 8 a.m. We showed up at the ferry stream, which I will explain later, and a huge tour group was there. So we thought, let's go for breakfast. We walked down the road away from the entrance and we found a restaurant, and I think it's local because as soon as we got here, the servers all looked at each other and thought, ugh, who's gonna talk to them? But everything is okay. We've been in Vietnam for a month, so we know for breakfast we want pho, bu. We want beef noodle soup, we got some iced coffee, and they gave us some iced tea, shada to start. So this is a very good start to the day. All right, there's another big group in front of us, so I wanted to share a little bit about this. So this is a freshwater stream that heads down to the ocean. It never goes more than ankle deep, and people have been talking about this for years. It's been on blogs and YouTube videos for you know, well over a decade. And I think at some point, uh, locals decided, wait a minute, tour companies are taking people on tours down here, but this is where we live, so maybe we should try to make some money off of it too. And so now it costs, I think, nobody's asked us for money. We will pay 10,000 for parking, which is fine. And uh, I think you can pay between 10 to 20,000 to actually enter here. Now, I don't really have a problem with that. That's 20,000 is less than a dollar. And then also, I think what it does is, you know, we're always trying to encourage uh, people to develop sustainable tourism opportunities and this is a way for people in the area to make money that's not based on fishing and also they will take care of this place because it's a source of revenue for them. Now along the way there are we're coming into this spot where it's like there's food I think there's some crafts to buy there's cold drinks I think this is probably what people get on their way back. This walk is only supposed to be half an hour in, half an hour back, but you can also just come for the great view. Want all my tips, including what didn't make it into videos? Check out my Vietnam guide for what to see, eat, and do, plus crucial tips for renting a motorbike in Vietnam. This whole area here is stalactites, which is caused by calcium carbonate. So this whole area is full of lots of minerals, and that's why you get the sand dunes, the white sand dunes, and that's also why you get some of these formations. Now they are supposed to change color as we walk a little bit farther down. So I think if you keep following the river, you get to a waterfall, but a lot of people have come up this hill, so we're gonna see what's happening. <laughs> We see other people do things and we want to do it too. A lot of people come here and then they walk to where that hill is that we walked up and they think they've seen it all and then they leave. But don't do that because this is actually the most impressive side because you definitely get that sense of it feels a little bit like the southwest of America with the colors, the golden, the orange, the big, almost feels like you're in a canyon except for the coconut trees of course. But 
it definitely doesn't feel like Vietnam. this has been unexpectedly amazing we had such a great time the beginning of it is not that impressive at all but as you walk through it especially after that hill that's where it really starts to get beautiful towards the end um, it does get a little bit rocky and I think because it is rainy season it was a little bit higher than normal but that meant we had a fantastic waterfall and then that guy at the end he took so many pictures of us, vertical, horizontal, far, like he really did a great job. He also took my hand to help guide me in because he knew where to stand. And so I think like 30,000 is a bargain. Come up here, we got a coconut for 30,000 each and I'm just gonna kind of take it easy. So when you look at the drone footage, you can actually see that, yes, we're on a coast, but then you see all of this like dune land. And so it's very, very arid. In fact, one area they call the Sahara of Vietnam that hopefully we're gonna visit later, but you have to take care of yourself. You have to drink a lot of water. And so coconut water is a great way to catch up for the last hour and a half of walking. Smile for the camera. People don't think you're happy. Alan is a happy person, but he doesn't always smile on camera. Well, Alan decided we needed some fruit. So we picked out some rambutan and some mango seed, my two favorite. And uh, we just stopped in at this coffee shop and we still have a 10 minute walk to go back to where we started. But we've got some fruit, so it's gonna be okay. and we're gonna have a late lunch. We drove along the coast to find somewhere to eat and we're on Mui Ne. So Mui Ne is actually uh, a long strip, 10 kilometers of number of resorts and hotels. We are in Ham Tien, which is actually a little bit more, it's smaller, it's still very much also a fisherman's village. And it's also where more nightlife is. So a lot of people actually stay there unless they wanna stay on a resort. And then you get to Han Thiet, which is the town. So a lot of people refer to this whole area as Mui Ne. Um, I thought that this would be a great spot for seafood, but we stopped into a spot where we didn't see a lot of tourists, at least we didn't see a lot of international tourists, and the server wasn't very nice to us. I actually really felt a little bit stressed about ordering because I had a number of things that I wanted to eat on my list. Um, there is a sun-dried squid, there are, um, there's a seafood hot pot. There's a lot of different preparations for seafood that she was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that is. Even though I was giving, showing her the names in Vietnamese. There's also lizard, which they call dong, but I didn't expect to see that here. The snails they said was going to be $24 per kilo, but we're going with two things that we've had in Vietnam several times and we know we like one squid to shrimp. I'm not really entirely sure how they're going to be prepared. I think the squid will be barbecued and the shrimp will as well in a chili salt. I don't know. We're just going to eat the food. We'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed the food is better than the service. All right, shrimp is out and it looks so good. So it's been grilled with the shell on, but I have to say what is actually amazing is this sauce right here. It is green. And it's sweet, tart like vinegar, also very spicy and fresh. So there's definitely lime, I think a little bit of vinegar, something spicy, but then also this herbaceous, you can see it's green. So it's some kind of, it's not mint, it's something else. It's so good. So I'm guessing what you just do here, I'm gonna take one of these. Mm. Oh yeah. I don't care what the service is like. This is fantastic. Oh. But also, they just grilled this perfectly. Like not overcooked at all. A little charred on the outside. You gotta dig into it, but it's really, really good. Next up, we're gonna head 
to the white sand dunes. It's about a 35 minute drive. And this is the best time of day to go. It's four o'clock. So between four and six, it's bearable. Otherwise, I've heard going during the day, you can't, you can't even walk on the sand. It's so hot, so we'll see. place the little Sahara of Vietnam what do you think yeah complete with a camel it's Sahara. it is it does look like the Sahara there is no other place in Vietnam that looks like this this is the only place you can see this So next day in Mui Ne, and unfortunately today it's going to rain. So we're not going to get to go back to the white sand dunes. And perhaps it's good that it's going to rain because we really do need a day of rest. Tomorrow we're headed to Dalat. Now it's a four hour drive technically, but we're going to take it over two days because there's supposed to be some amazing views there, interesting things to see and some good food. So we definitely want to catch that. Mui Ne overall I would say was pretty good, but I wouldn't go out of my way for it. So. If you live in Saigon or if you live in the area, sure, this is a nice getaway. But in terms of a beach town, I found the food to be kind of mediocre. I didn't really have anything that was amazing other than that sauce that came with the grilled shrimp yesterday. But at that place, also, they overcooked the squid. And so that was disappointing because we have had so much good food in Saigon. Phu Quoc, the seafood was amazing. They really know how to cook it. So not really sure what's happening here, but I found it expensive and just okay. Accommodation was very affordable. We stayed in two different places, a homestay for $8 a night. It was fantastic, very clean. And then for the last couple nights, we've stayed in a spot for $16 a night with a balcony close to the water. Really, really great. I would recommend staying in a Tam Ham Tien, Ham Tien neighborhood, which has much more nightlife, much more restaurants, uh, much more like um, there is more independent accommodation here, whereas Mui Ne is more of resorts and more formal things. So I'm excited for the next few days. I think it's going to be really beautiful. Dalat is actually in the mountains, so it looks completely different. But we're not giving up on the coast. We know that Vietnam has fantastic seafood. We had it in Phu Quoc. We had it in Saigon. And so we'll head back down to the coast, then through the central mountains, and then up to northern Vietnam. This is going to be four to six weeks, I think and it's going to be fantastic. So if you're not subscribed, I hope you subscribe to this video and I will check you tomorrow on our way to Dalat. Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.